afternoon, good evening. Now I'm out here in my home little gym. Equipment around here, I can quickly show you. Look, do it, do it, do it. I get asked this question a lot, so I shall try and answer it for you. The question is, Lee, what do you do for forearms? I guess because of these things. And people in a lot of photos think they're photoshopped because when I diet down, you lose a lot of weight around here. So this gets really thin. And as you can see on different angles, pops out like, wow. So people think it's Photoshop, but as you can see, it's not Photoshop. That's real forearms there, people, real forearm. Oh, oh, and I have the hand muscle. My mother has that muscle and a lot of people have it, but there's a muscle in the hand. It's like a little paw, see it there? Extra points on stage when you got that one. But they asked me, what do you do for forearms? And in all serious, I've never trained them. Yes, for videos and the old flex magazines and the MD magazines and photo shoots and in videos, I've done them. But if you listen, you'll always hear me say, if I was going to train them, this is what I would do. Because I've always just been, I think, because my mother's had good forearms, my grandfather. It's like anything. Actually, it's good and it's bad because if I was doing back or any type of exercise, my forearms and that and my actual hand muscle would always give out but say up before my back did so i could be rowing doing back and my forearms go boom i could be doing shoulder presses boom pretty much anything i do my forearms got a great workout but if i was to train them what i learned from just doing you know for photo shoots and videos what i felt works good is a really good one is if you're at a gym and they have a bar sometimes they have a rope hanging off the bar you can make it yourself just get a round piece of wood tie a rope around it and on the end you can just put a loop and a little clip and you can clip that through a plate or you can have a plate on it some gyms that had them you just stand there and you roll it like this so you'd have the rope so long and you'd roll it all the way up to here let it go down and i'd do this like this way and then when you're finished i'd do it this way you'd always go roll it up to the top let it go down and then do reverse because this way here you get more of a pump under this part when you're rolling back this way you're getting more on the upper part here so it's easier to make if you have like this you could just put a piece of rope through that and on the end just you know just put one of those little clips that you clip onto a bar clip it through a five kilo weight you don't need much because it's more about just doing reps and like i said just keep going up let it go down let it go up let it go down and like i said do it that way and that way that's a really really good one that like i said when i did it for photo shoots and that I got a good pump. Oh, actually, some gyms too, they do have that machine. There is an actual machine you can roll and that. Now, here's another good one. All it takes, you can either put a weight on the end or if you've got a hammer. And you just stand there like this and do that. So if my arm was by my side, you'd be holding it and you're just doing that. And like I said, if it's too heavy, hold it closer to the end of the hammer. So you're doing that. And as your forearm gets stronger, hold it more towards the end. And like I said, you can, you know, somehow make it where you can put weight on it yourself. You can make your own things at home, but a good hammer is what I used to do like that. So you're just going that one, switch hands, and then you're doing that. It's a really good forearm one. And like I said, you can either come up with something yourself, but generally when I did it, a nice heavy hammer, or like I said, some people very creative can invent stuff and make it. And now the old basic one, I know these aren't heavy, but hammer curls. Now a hammer curl done correctly is like this, straight up and down like a hammer motion not this this is what you see when you just got out of cell block b this is like prison prison hammer curls a proper hammer curl is just like you're hammering so let's do do it till you're up like i said you can either do them alternately or together but like i said some people go way too heavy and they start throwing the bicep in because this will get your forearm and brachialis a bit so make sure you just try use that don't try swinging so you can just do them together like so and rep range too i never when it came to doing stuff like this if i was doing it i don't count reps it's more about just totally fatiguing them and burning them out so i just keep going and going so you can't do no more even if you're just getting little bits down the bottom so this is like probably one of the best you can do and vice versa can't hook it up but over there is a cable machine so if you just have a rope every gym has one a rope like this connect it under the cable and you'll be doing that 
which this one here will get more the upper forearm and a little bit of the lower bicep but it's a great tie-in one for your forearms and biceps and again control the movement and just really squeeze down if you want to bring more biceps in, you can your wrists like that but just for forearms mainly your biceps are going to come into play no matter what but to really just focus on them do that and then when you finish with the rope also you can put the bar on the cable and do reverse you know you can do it on the cable or an easy curl bar I actually prefer an easy curl bar because your hands are on that slight little bit of an angle so it's just doing this if this was on a cable and like I said don't go swinging you only want to keep nice and still and also you, what you can do with this is if you have a heavy enough weight when it's connected to the cable hold the bar like that and just curl your wrist back so you're doing like a wrist curl because the weight will be pulling down and you're just curling it you can go fairly heavy because you're only sort of using your wrist like that it'd be very similar to say this is a bench in the old days just grab a straight bar put your wrist here on the edge of the bench let your hands hang over and do that so just get like a 40 50 pound bar whatever you want put it on the floor as i said my leg here would be the bench your wrist is just over the edge of the bench so you can curl it down and curl it up getting the main meaty part of your forearm doing wrist curls like that off a bench you don't see a lot of people do them anymore but it used to be like i remember when i started training back in the 80s and that that was probably one of the main forearm exercises you see guys all the time just grab a bar put your hands over like i said my knees the bench so your wrist goes over the end your forearm here would be resting on the bench and you're just curling the weight like that and like i said just just keep going so you can't do any more so that would be with us like a free weight bar or you can use a cable too and then like i said connect the cable to the thing or again easy curl bar or straight bar free weight exactly the same thing but keep your hands in close and you do reverse reverse curls for your forearm as i said i prefer an easy curl bar just because your hands are on a better angle now one of my favorites that i would throw in from time to time like once a year or whatever because i always said leave imagine if you train forearms how big they could get so occasionally maybe i do it for a week like abs and then go how if i get too bored so i stop but when i do it this is probably one of the best do your hammer curls however you want like this together or alternately i said don't count the reps just go to your fatigued and then when you can't do anymore put them down and grab a plate and this is one of my favorites and when you grab the plate put your thumbs like that don't wrap your thumbs around put your thumbs on the outside like that and you hold it here and just up and down pretend the plate's a big pizza so you're doing this and this is probably one of the best for your forearm and the lower bicep tie in you'll ever do so you like so you either do it by itself but it's a good superset if you do it with the hammer curls so you're just holding it straight up and down straight up and down and it's good because when you get tired just rest the plate on your quads five ten seconds to that really bad burn goes away and then just go again and i mean just keep burning them and burning them as they burn a few more really burn stop that's it and just keep going don't don't have a number in the pump don't have a number set in your head my god they're pumping up like i said hammer curls great the bar like i said you can do with a hammer the wrist curling like i said with the thing put a rope on or cable the rope connected to a cable just like almost like a cable hammer curl and then the bar over the end of a bench doing wrist curls that way and i'd say my favorite is the plate one but your thumbs are like that so you're curling like you're gonna eat a pizza and just keep going don't stop because it will burn and like i said when it burns just rest it on your quads just till the burn subsides a little bit and then just pump out more let it go oh, i said more of it rather than count the reps do more time say five minutes like for five minutes you're just gonna do this even if you just get like one two and it's burning that bad stop one two stop my friends and i used to do it sometimes with barbell curls we'll get like a 40 pound bar you do as many reps as you can pass it to him he does as many in the beginning you do a lot but you say like 10 minutes it's just non-stop passing the bar back and forth and towards the end you got 40 pounds and you can barely get three reps out then you pass it back to him he does a couple then you do a couple <coughs> and you just do that for like 10 minutes so but when it comes to forearm they would be the to, to go to exercises but out of all of them my favorite would just be the good old hammer dumbbell 
and that plate one I showed you and the wrist curls. Give it a go. Let me know how it works for you. If you want Popeye forearms, because forearms too, they can be like cars, they can be genetics, but then a lot of times too, forearms and those sort of body parts, people don't go like crazy into it, like chest, yeah, legs, yeah, forearms, people go, yeah, that's enough. If you want your forearms to grow and be big and look freaky, oh, look at that. Train them hard, burn them, don't count the reps, set a time and just keep going to failure. Each one, let the burn subside and then go again. I like to hear how that works out for you, so go do it in a month's time. Send some comments back in and let me know how your forearms have done. Maybe measure them before you've done it and that's it. You can probably do them twice a week maybe. I'll speak to you all next time. Take care.